that one. It's a jam and a jam plus a jam on top of a jam. Oh God. That's what it is. That's a classic now, right there. Yeah. What amazed me about the song was when uh, Tiwa Savage kissed Daniel yeah. jumped on the song. Please, how did that magic happen? Because you gave, you gave, you came out with a hit song, mm -hmm. and what you decided to do was now to give Nigeria another hit song on top of the hit song. Oh God. Please, I beg, how did that whole magic happen? Uh, first of all, shout out to Uber Franklin. Mm -hmm. Um, I was I was home chilling after the success of the original Nuwahala, yeah. and he was like, he's at his Daniel studio, and his Daniel is a big fan of the song, yeah. and he doesn't mind jumping on it. That uh, if I could come through, I said, of course. So I went to his Daniel's studio in his house and um, we vibed on the song together. And he, he was trying to get his own verse um, prepared. So uh, I think after we got his verse recorded, he was like, if you, someone needs to come on the song and it feels like T.I. is going to be really good on the song. That so, was on top, top of his head? Yeah, you like feel me? It just happened. Uh, so shout out to Kiss Daniel. He, he reached out to T.I. Savage and told her about the idea and she bought it. So that's how... Uh, we had Tiwa Savage on the song. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yeah, so that's the story. Wow. Amazing, wow. isn't it? Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> it is. And, and for, for me, I just want to ask, uh, what happened to the other female artists? Why didn't you Why didn't you consider like a Yemi Alade or something like that? It wasn't my idea. It wasn't my idea. It was Chris Dana's idea. Oh. Yeah. So if you were, if you, if you, let, let's just say your own choice now. Mm -hmm. Who would you have loved? Apart from, let's just say Tiwa Savage is on it. Yeah. And you wanted to put one more person on it. Who would you put on the song? Oh. No, I had a female, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm-hmm. The female, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, anyway, no, no, no. but anyway, it's it honestly it was it was a fantastic yeah. song, and I, I would love to take go all the way back to 2015. Uh -huh. No, activate. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go back and listen to that song. And if for me, I just want to understand something. What happened from activate till the time when BB Ninja used your song? Because it was like a whole transition. Because yeah. I want to know from 2015 when you first released Activate, what was the idea? You know, you just coming up. What was the image you wanted to create first of all in the music scene? Um, actually, my first official single, 2015, I think, was Love Had Daily before Activate. Yeah, before Activate. Yeah. yeah. So from there till now, it's just been her um, real organic growth and mm -hmm. hustle. You feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, what I really like about my journey the most is the fact that. I don't f I don't like the first things, the collaborations, mm. the music, and it's everything has to be organic. That's how I really enjoy it and feel fulfilled. Mm. You feel me? So I've just been I've been growing from one level to another. From one, if, for people that follow my story, from when I started making music professionally in 2015, mm. they know like the real fans, the real and the fans know that we've been growing from one step to the uh, to mm -hmm. another and we're here now and the future holds a lot so we just keep moving that's the motto man. that's 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 great yeah. that's great so when bb Ninja came up with the idea to yeah. use your song i beg how did you feel at that time i swear this is another funny story because <laughs> please tell I, me what I, you I, do. <laughs> i'm usually not watching bb and you understand like i'm not a religious viewer you really? feel me so i was just chilling mm. I actually was, I was saying, I was just, I, I think I was watching cartoons or something like that on you, my phone. You, you I just kept cartoon? my phone. Yeah, I, I watched cartoons. Come back to that after this. <laughs> so, um, I was chilling and my phone started buzzing up. I checked it and I saw calls and people we were just calling. I said, ah, who are they? It's not now, you feel me? So, I returned a couple calls. I was like, I found, I was in this room. This room, everybody was coming. I said, oh, your song is blasting way up. Yeah. You feel me? That's mm -hmm. like, for me, that's like one of my favorite songs ever recorded in my career, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it was a real song. I always like to make real music. That's why if you listen to my music, it always lasts, you feel me? Like, yeah. Way Up, you can listen to Way Up to like Kingdom Come, African Woman, Lover Daily, mm -hmm. Nora Hala. There are songs you can listen to over and over again. Doesn't have like a lifespan, like, you feel yeah. me? So, um, that's how I found out that We Up was being used as the official team song of the 2017 the Big Brother Night. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it was it was good. It was huge. My God, because I, I'm sure I'm sure you'd have been really amazed. Like, ah, wow. Yes, uh, man. I was I was I was surprised. Just the way everyone was surprised. That was how it got to me. So I was like, oh shit, this is good. <laughs> anyway, so let's just go and enjoy that song, African Woman, yeah. which is is a song. Actually, it's one of the songs. This one is a classic, oh, man. Classic, original so, classic. So when we come back, he's going to tell us what his love of cartoon has to do with his music. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.